Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Crystal and um, I'm Creations by Crystal and I'm glad you found my channel. Today is um, I want to show you and also give you some information about how to get the best results from your uh, fluid art your pores, um, if you're looking to try to get peacock cells, which are cells that are lined uh, with another color that you used, um, there actually is a formula to layering of the paint to get the best result. So, nobody really, I you know, talks about it, but so I thought, well, shoot, I'm going to throw it out there. The reason we pick colors and layer them for paint pours, we do it in a, in a certain way. Um, always starting with a opaque color. And it is, um, I'll show you what the opaque colors are. Um, this uh, blue that's coming through here, that is... Uh, Let's see, that one is a opaque color. See how heavy it is and it comes through. Um, trying to do this. And yellow is very light bodied paint and it doesn't come through as easily. Um, I got really lucky and uh, I got some beautiful yellow that did come through. Okay. Um, the next is called translucent paint, okay, color, and those colors um, are different, actually, and I'm going to show you how you can learn what your uh, colors are that are opaque or translucent, and here, I've, I've just kind of drew this out for you, the box that is all filled in that represents an op opaque color this one the translucent has a nothing in the box okay and that indicates translucent paint then you have one uh, or two paints that come with the box with the little uh, slash through the middle i call that the shimmering paint uh it's kind of iridescent um okay now that i've told you that i had so much to tell you okay when uh, this is a formula okay for when you are layering your paints let's say for bloom you've put your base down and you're ready to put your colors what you do is you always start with an opaque color um, then you can go to a translucent color. Then you can go back to the opaque color. Translucent color. Okay. And then there's something called an interference color. And and it's a lighter color with, with a, sh a shimmering shine to it. Um, so you want to put that in. In between one of the times you're alternating opaque and the translucent. Now, when you put in a shimmering iridescent to paint color, you can layer these on top of each other. You do, you do not have to have a translucent or an opaque. You can go shimmer uh, color and another shimmer color. That makes any sense at all. So, the formula is, like I said, opaque then the translucent, opaque, translucent, throw in an interference color, um, a shimmering, iridescent. Uh, those are beautiful. I have some from uh, Arteza and uh, makes your painting really pretty. But you can line that. So there's a method to why you see artists choosing certain colors to create what you're seeing here. Now, I have no Floetrol in this at all. This I made with a pouring medium made by Liquidex. Liquidex pour medium. And then I put in um, like one or two drops of silicone. Uh, 
in the heavy bodied uh, paint. Now white is a heavy bodied paint. That's why you see people starting with that with the white. It's an opaque. Um, and then your paint's gray. Uh, that is a, a heavy uh, color, and that's a one that's really good as a cell activator. And we can get into more of what that is later. But I kind of wanted to let you see the what a peacock cell looks like. And I'm hoping I'm giving you a good view here. Um, and I'm close enough. And you can see, look at that yellow. Isn't that pretty? And you see how there's paint all the way around it. The green lacing, um, the paint's gray came out really nice. And you can see your heavy bodied paint. You see the blue? That's a heavy bodied. Now a turquoise blue is a lighter bodied uh, paint and it's uh, opaque. So blues aren't always the same. Um, let's see. Um, now look at the yellow. I mean, to get yellow through is great. It, it's sometimes just doesn't happen, but I got beautiful yellow uh, surrounded with uh, a turquoise blue and some dark blue. And then you come up here. And I don't know if the glare is getting you there, but look at those. Aren't they pretty? Now, this has a layer of varnish on it. I just absolutely love it. Okay, let me show you another example. Here is an example. Um, it's a few videos back, maybe five videos back. Um, and again you can see that the uh, heavy opaque color the turquoise came through beautifully um, let me see if I can get a little closer for you there you go isn't that beautiful now I think it's peacock cells and I think they call that a caterpillar I'm, I'm not sure I think so now this was used with Liquid X Poor Medium. There you go. And I follow when I'm layering my paint. Opaque, transparent, sparkle, or opaque again, etc. And shimmer on top of shimmer, that's great. Look at these interesting things. That's not, uh, you know, it looks like there's a hole there, but it isn't. This is beautiful. I have not varnished it yet. But I did want to show it. All dried. It's been dried for weeks, actually. And I loved this. I thought that was so pretty. This was a double flip cup that I did and you can see the beautiful turquoise and I loved this red color isn't that beautiful that came out and gave, given the streaks look at that big cell with all the lines around it um, this just keeps giving I could look at it for hours and that's an, you know that's unusual for me they have to be this good look at that turquoise and the red around it absolutely beautiful look at that the turquoise I'm holding it very very close and I can pull back a little bit if you need to see the whole thing look at that it just it's amazing I loved the orange. It, it worked so good. But there is a formula. So, um, 
that I never hear anybody say or tell people about paint. And the next thing I'm going to show you is how on the tube paint you'll get that uh, information. Well, just for fun, I thought I'd show you this. This is an experiment. I used flood, flow trough flood from America as a pore medium, and I used iridescent colors, and I think it turned out beautiful. My interference color really came through good, and the gold, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, on to the next. All right, I want to show you where you can get the information on whether your paint color is opaque or translucent. And I showed you the boxes. Now you can see right here on, on the Arteza Acrylic Art, Acrylic Colors, I'm sorry, Burnt Ember, and you see a solid box. That means it's opaque. That would be a color if you wanted to start with because you always start with opaque. Um, I break rules, so this is just information for us, um, but I do follow this a lot. Uh, let's see, and then you see your ultramarine blue right there, and it has a clear box, meaning it's transparent. Um, here's one here that's iridescent, and you can see the the box right there with the line on it and that tells you that and it's fluorescent blue it is a beautiful color i've already used it <laughs> now i have some shimmer colors up here with mica and you can see the little squares with the little triangle through them that lets you know uh, that they're you know a iridescent color um, so anyway, I've got those, uh, but in, that's how you tell. Um, it says right on the tube. Doesn't matter what size the tube is. It could be a, a small one, but you see that? They have a, a square and the line through it. And this is actually from Arteza, but it's a, um, what do they call it? It's like a uh, iridescent shimmering, uh, yeah, I guess shimmering shimmering colors that I have in those small tubes. Okay, um, what else? I hope I gave you some good information, um, just basic art information. Um, layer your paint, as you're laying your paints, you, you know, go with how you feel. Uh, just know that there is a formula and uh, if you use it, you're going to be very successful. I mean, look at that. And the other one I showed you is one of my favorites. But um, I hope I've helped you. That, that's all I've got to say. And also uh, mentioning um, people that have shared this information also is Lisa Marvin Art. Um, she shares uh, this information about... Um, opaque and translucent, you know, etc. And, um, is there anything else? Um, so always think about layering, I guess. That's the video today. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed uh, the walkthrough of the paintings I did. Um, please subscribe to my channel if you like what I'm doing. Um, I'm trying to do more teaching and, and give you some basic knowledge, you know, the foundation. That way you make beautiful blooms and uh, stuff that I can see and 